So we're live again with a new episode, episode 5 already from Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the fifth live stream. And for the guys who didn't watch my past live streams, they're all still available on my channel EDV Gaming. So have a look at them um, if you want to know something more about this game before uh, it's coming out on November 10th. And um, I'm got a, I got an early copy from Ubisoft to try it out and show you guys in this live streaming so uh, make sure to watch those other videos too but again um, thank you guys for watching this new stream and um, I'm gonna start with a request that someone made in my previous stream so um, we're gonna take a look at the benchmark option that is in Assassin's Creed so I'm playing on a gaming PC, an Acer Orion 3000 with an uh, GeForce RTX 2060 Super and I've got everything as you can see, I go to the options and let's go to graphics I've got everything on ultra high ultra high details, ultra high clutter, shadows and so on so um, that's um, also something I'm playing on full HD because that's just easier to stream and 60 Hertz but again there's a benchmark option in Assassin's Creed that allows you to um, see what your PC can do with these settings um, so that's also nice to check what kind of settings graphical settings you can set your PC to and it will tell you something more about what it can do what your frames per seconds are FPS um, if you could should set it on a lower graphic setting or stuff like that so this benchmark tool in Assassin's Creed Valhalla let's take a look at it let's launch it so I'm launching the benchmark session now so it's kind of a demo where you go through a, a Viking village with all the graphics and all the, the gl glory that uh, the game can show us, like fires, glares, uh, water, um, reflections, clouds, smoke, mist and so on, all at the same time. So sometimes my f FPS will drop because it's giving me everything the game can give. So you can see in the right up corner the FPS we're get, get getting. And you can also see my CPU, my GPU, an NVIDIA GeForce RTX 2060 Super. But again, if you're not looking at the stats on the right just look at the graphical details in the game the grass the smoke the fire the mist kind of flying like a raven through the settlement just take it in and you can see my CPU is at 24-25% but the GPU is getting hot it's almost at 100% but again that's the point of a benchmark tool it is designed to test our system to the fullest so I'm average averaging 50 FPS in this benchmark tool with my ultra high settings as you can see with my GeForce RTX 2060 Super GPU so okay that's for you to decide if you want to get more FPS if you always want to be at 60 average then you have to lower your settings graphics quality a little bit to high perhaps and not ultra high but again I can live with this um, the, the an average is always around 50-60 that I can live with that but tell me what you guys think in the chat uh, or in the comments below the video 
uh, what you guys think of this benchmark tool, this benchmark results. Is this a good result? As you can see, the RAM usage at the bottom there, it's uh, 5,767 megabytes of 8,192 that my GPU got. So, um, and then the CPU, of course, uh, it's running mostly on GPU to get this graphic quality. But again, that was the benchmark tool in Assassin's Creed. Let's play the game. So we arrived in England in the last four episodes. We played in Norway. So check them out if you want to know more about the story. But now let's continue. We already have arrived after five hours of gaming. But I didn't get all the secrets. I didn't get all the treasures in the uh, world in Norway, in the map of Norway, in our home village in our viking village kind of played mostly the main story to give you guys an idea Short notes mostly scraps of plans old letters i guess you can spend messages. at least one it or two more hours in together. norway before you have to go to uh, england but you can get here in four or five hours if you really want to so this is uh the long ship hall that uh, we found in England. It was built by the sons of Ragnar. And uh, that was nice. So we immediately took it as our own. We drove away some bandits that were in the uh, settlement. And it is now our settlement in England. If I can use my raven here, I can give you guys a look. Stretch your wings, Sunan. So this is Ragnar's son's encampment. So um, it's kind of the stable. We've got some tents now. They're not really big buildings. Even some old Romans. Not sure what that is. Museum. So that's our main hall. It's a big one. And then we have our docks. And some other buildings. The we have a brewery of course, we have hunter's hut, trading post, the bakery, we have some barracks, fishermen, docks and so on. That's our quest, our next quest. Okay, so it's a big town already, a big settlement. Some houses, cattle farm and so on. Let's take a look at the map. So as you can see we have built we have founded a new settlement called raventhorpe because we are the clan of raven we have still a lot of world mysteries and artifacts to discover in this new land of england there's like some uh, raiding uh, villages that we can use so we can take our uh, boat and go raid those villages to get some uh, supplies of course but again let's first go to the gunner and let's settle down and see what he has to say first perhaps I'll kind of forget to add my new skills I got already six skills points to spend so we have a skill tree it's like archery stealth and of course melee combat I've sp spent most of my skill points in melee combat so far Reduces damage of all incoming heavy attacks. And we are already expanding to that part of the skill tree. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's acquire that skill. And that skill. And a new skill tree. And again, let's take a look perhaps at the oh, why can't I go down I'm so I'm gonna go um, X and I'm gonna upgrade this is a dual wielding X by the way um, so that I can I can't use that with my shield okay so I've upgraded my X 
I have don't have enough materials for any future upgrades. Let's see what we have found so far. Some more runes, okay. Always handy. A new bow, but it's broken. That's uh, a looting in the game. You can find new stuff. Still have the old bow that I started with, but again, I still have a rune slot here for some extra health, perhaps. Oh, it's already equipped. Which one is it equipped? This one. Okay. And I have a rune slot in my shield. Blunt rune. Let's stun. If I hit someone with my shield, I can stun them. So I have. The secondary hand is for my shield, of course. And my primary hand for my axe. Okay. Oh, let's take a look like our skills again. Uh, perhaps we can get some more here from sneak sneaking powers and see because it kind of unlocks some more skill trees that is always nice to look ahead backstab someone mm -hmm. so when I'm crouching undetected all enemies are detected in red that's also very comes in handy when you're um, going sneaky into a camp okay let's do the quest thank you Raven where do you have to go that way so let me know if you're watching the stream in the chat always nice to know if, if there are people watching I'm reading the chat and I will reply Not a bad place, Eivor. Not at all. Can I help you with anything? Sigurd wants your forge up and running as soon as possible. For that, we need supplies and riches. Ah, you mean to go a Viking then? Good, good. How I miss those days. Ransacking and pillaging. Blade singing and shield splintering. <laughs> I would ask you to join us, but you are the only blacksmith we have. We cannot afford your loss. Oh, it's no bother. Better I forge axes than swing them. My place is here, not pulling on the oar of a river horse. <laughs> Though you do remind me, I found a map among the bandits' rubbish, marked up with the locations of Saxon monk huts. Yes. Bandits know as well as we do. Monasteries are full of riches and loot. Take the map with you. And put it to better use than they did. Okay. I think we're going raiding. We have some new intelligence. There is a monastery here. By wealth chests have been looted. Okay. Listen, listen all. For the good of our clan, it is time we go a Viking! Today we raid, that tomorrow we may build! At last! We will crack these Christian monasteries like a row of heads. So we can eggs. row our longboat, no we are here, or we can just follow the river. Oh Can't raise the sail yet. And nothing more than priests and sailors, I'd wager. Catch the wind! And then I don't have to do anything, it's like an autopilot. You can find, you can see the blue line there in the water, that's where we are going. So you have to see that we are going near the monastery, in the right direction. There it is already. Let's stop following the river. Bring the sail in! Hold on, good scout. Look there, the monastery. I stand ready. A monastery. Don't say the word. Oh. 
Let's go raiding. Take what you can and be swift about it. Look at them run. If I can, if they're on the ground, I can stump them with my foot. There we go. Let's see where they are hiding their riches. Okay. So Raven can help me. Have a look, Sunan. They're all running away. Any more soldiers nearby? There are some soldiers. And there is some gold. Okay. Let's go back to the battle. See if we can go into the monastery. The door is barred. Probably have to find another way. Come die well. It's not a good idea to go on the roof now because it's on fire. Holy! There we go. Hey look. We did that. can revive our teammates. Okay. I think it's time we find a way into these buildings and loot it. Destroy the window? Ah, I can destroy the window, of course. Ooh, look at that big gold chest. It's too big. That is all we need for Gunner. But if there's more, we should claim it. See if there's something inside this church. Also on fire. Run away. 
there some way? Um, let's see. Give me we can force it open. <laughs> yeah, Brian, it's true. Go into every house and find if it's not nailed down, it's yours. Even the women. There we go. What's in this thing? Okay. Another big chest. And the raid is completed. We have filled our coffers with gold. Mm. Nice work, guys. The Christian God will probably strike us down. So. Let's just not tell him. What's your. What you're doing? I already. <laughs> I already went in. Thanks, uh... Dach. I think his name is Dach. Smart move. Okay, let's return to our longboat. Perhaps is there something else nearby that we can see? Ooh, what's that? That's a mystery. What's that? Uh, I don't know. I wanna know what that mystery is. But that's my longboat. Mystery, some more treasure. Let's find that mystery first before I return to my longboat. I'm still ah, uh, it's up there. <laughs> heal up first. Disguise. Yeah, let's use my disguise so they won't see that I'm a Viking. Yeah, <laughs> just raided their village. Let's put on a hat. And they won't recognize me. Yeah. That's true. What is that mystery? <laughs> yeah, Brian. The Bible says that the meek or poor shall inherit the earth. So in that way I'm helping them. <laughs> That's true. Cool. What is that mystery over there? Wind is strong, but you are stronger. Just hold on. It's not a cat in the tree, I hope. Stuck in a tree. Oh. Careful, please. Stay back. Do not touch this tree. All right. What is your name? May. Avor. Something about this tree important to you? It's the leaves. My father said he would return home before they'd all fall into the ground. And now, only one remains. And still no return. It's been six weeks. Six weeks since he's gone to Lincoln in search of work. I wish he stayed. Just one more season. He was so sure the fields wouldn't yield, but we could have tried. Okay, what shall I tell her? I don't believe your father will return. I don't think he's coming back. You need to move on. I don't... No, it's all bad. It's all the same. Uh, those are... One or two are the same. You need to move on. All I can say for certain is that this leaf will fall. You should hope for the best, but prepare for the worst. That way, if your father never returns, your heart will not break. But if he does, you will weep with joy. I haven't thought of it that way, but it is a simple idea to live by. You're right. I must carry on with or without him. Thank you, Eivor. May the Lord be with you. Maybe... Maybe I'll wait just a little bit longer. Till the goats begin to bray, or... Yes. A little longer. <laughs> okay, so that was the mystery, I guess. Is there anything else here? Nope, that's not the mystery. Ah! Oops. 
sorry. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should I shoot that leaf down? Should I pull it off? Can't do that. Nah. Okay. That was a stupid way to travel. Perhaps you can loot. Mm. Ah. No, no, no. Father has not returned home. Uh, the mystery is still going on. But every day I appear outside, there are more leaves on the ground and less in the tree. Sometimes do not look at all for fear the tree by our home is bare. But then I am struck by the hope I may still see him riding over the fields. Oh, father, where are you? I think he is uh, subscribing to my YouTube channel and liking this video. What do you guys think? Hmm. So, don't tell me that. Oh, I got a horse. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What's this? Some mining. <laughs> Should we like solve this mystery somehow? Is that the father? Father, are you coming home? You can shoot him. Not gonna. Hmm. What do you guys think? I can shoot the leaf. <gasps> okay, so I had to do that. What? No, 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 you... I suppose that's it then. Carry on with your life, May. Everything will be alright. Okay, that was some easy skill points. Okay, strange mystery. Some light attack damage. What can we do here? Let's do that. A new skill tree opening up. Some melee damage. Okay. Thank you. Where's that horse? Horsey. Let's see. Any mysteries or what's this guy? It's, it's like a knight or something. Oh, he was over here. It's like traveling the road, I think. Hmm. Let's go find that treasure and then we can go home. Mm, the horse will make it far quicker. camp okay let's see if we can raid that one survey the area soon mm -hmm. okay one two three four bandits that's gonna be easy Treasure. I should not be seen in this area. That's right, I got a new skill. When I'm crouched, I can see all the enemies. That's handy. Could really recommend that skill to everyone. They're all highlighted in red. Well, there's five of them. How should I do this? Uh, cages. Mm. Can all of 
attack them, let's try and do it stealthy again. Ah, he doesn't hear me. What's that guy? He's got a gold circle. It's like the chief. Probably harder to kill. Let's kill him. Kill him with a stealth attack. Is he dead? No, he's not dead. So that's like a bandit boss or something like that. Or something we had to assassin. Okay, throw rocks and stones, but don't break my bones. There we go. Another scratch. Let's see. What we can loot here. Okay. I could probably steal that loot without killing those guys. Just sneak in, go up. Do it again. Rock in the front door shouting, fight me. <laughs> yeah. Probably something. That's a Viking tactic, I think. And. Uh, I, I, I kind of find it strange to see a Viking sneaking around in the grass, doing it sneaky. The Viking is more like, yeah, let's bash in the front door. <whistles> Pillage and raid. <laughs> but again, it's Assassin's Creed. So we, I think we have seen and found every mystery and treasure in this area let's go back to our boat and see what they're doing over there Oops. so that that's like some iron ore that you can mine and craft stuff at the forge and that's our next stop so I guess we should try and get some more iron ore and iron ingots to use and with uh, crafting new weapons and materials and new armor that our blacksmith can use. There, here's our boat. Well, that was a mi nice monastery. Too bad. <laughs> we burned it down. Okay, let's go back to our settlement. This was a good day and some fine work from all of you. Oh. We should return home and unload everything. We haven't lost a single guy. Aren't a few more gold nuggets squirreled away somewhere? My gut tells me no. Follow the river again. Let the sail out. What's your count? My count? Dag, I've no need to count my kills. They number too many. Likely story, Wolf Kissed. Me? I killed 26. I That's think. true, Brian. I guess they it's all the Viking, it's stealth and uh, no, no, you a them. win is a win. They from the forest. And again, they're all about honor and giving their word. That is, uh, that's by the way how this uh, story and this game starts. By your mother and father being killed by uh, another Viking warlord who gave his word that he would not kill them. But then he broke it. And that was our revenge. Okay, we're home. Let's dock. Let's put her in here. Hush now. And let's see what we can give our blacksmith and what he can do with it. First, we need to build his him a forge. That's what that's what the black blacksmith needs. Good news, I, hope. I guess. I think we have all we need. I guess we're like uh, 
now he has a tent and when we interact with this and we have enough building materials we're gonna build him a blacksmith okay it costs 400 building materials what's what's this supplies and raw materials okay and we have enough we brought some with us from Norway but again when you need materials you need to pillage them and raid yeah Brian it's a lot of fun I'm really having fun with this game the setting is the Viking era I like it come visit me anytime for weapons and gear there is no man better than me I will gonna have no doubt and what can I do for you on this fine day so for building the settlement we have to gain access to unique services settlers quest and more by constructing buildings in the raven store and that's our settlement to construct a new building approach a signpost with sufficient supplies and raw materials and as says the settlement grows it will gain renown and unlock new building opportunities oh, so when we build more houses and stuff we will gain more to build and then we can call raven to see all services that are built or are available to construct okay that's a nice forge for our blacksmith perhaps we can like still sell some stuff or buy some stuff i want to upgrade my gear let's first ask him what he does here what is it you do here again if you need weapons and armor enhanced or adorned that's what i'm here for Okay. I would like to see what you have in stock. Let's try and see if he can upgrade some things. Perhaps he can upgrade... Um, I don't have enough... Ah, it costs three. Can't do that. And again, I can enhance the quality of my shield. What does that cost? Where is it? I have two carbon ingots and you have nickel ingots and you have tungsten ingots and again it costs three nickel ingots to upgrade my axe I guess it doesn't really cost anything mm. okay and I have a new rune slot too I have two rune slots. Okay. And again, I can't upgrade this one. Can't. Okay. I can upgrade my Raven Clan cloak. Let's do that. Again, a new rune slot. And it can increase armor the lower your health is. And perhaps one more. Nope. That's it. I really have to find some nickel ingots because. Most of the things here cost nickel ingots. Okay. Thank you. I, good work, I, must say. I have to go. I must be on my way now. Goodbye. I'll Fight see if well. I have some more runes to upgrade my gear. Um Yeah. So I have an empty rune slot. Okay. Wait a minute. Ah, wrong. Okay. And a new rune slot in this one, but I don't really, really I don't use the two-handed X. I like the the faster way of fighting with the one-handed X and the shield perhaps. I can upgrade this one too. Okay, with normal materials that I can use myself. Okay. Okay. So you can upgrade stuff yourself and you can upgrade them at the blacksmith when uh, you get bigger upgrades and extra rune slots and stuff like that. Okay. And I think I also have an extra. Ah, okay. I can use the Raven Clan cloak or the Berserker hood. I'm gonna use a Berserker hood. 
because it's better. Okay. And two runes over here. Ah, okay. You guys like the helmet? Or the Berserker helmet? <laughs> but again, it is not visible. Where can I make it visible? Okay, show gear. So now <laughs> I'm walking around with a bear on my head. With a bear hat on my head. <laughs> okay. Let's see what we can do in the village. What are we going to upgrade? Because we still have some building materials. Let's have a look around. Go. Susan. So we can build a hidden ones burrow. Um, so we can more missions. Um, where? What can we build? We can also build a barracks. So we can recruit better fighters, I guess. We can build a trading post where we can uh, we can buy and purchase. Purchase, I mean, um, Ragnarsum's encampment. No, that's just our house, our village. And I guess we can build a lot of more stuff, but we first need to perhaps build the more important stuff okay we can buy, build a stable at like 430 I think that's like all I have left so uh, it's a big big settlement okay the barracks lets you make your own Viking to take with you on raids and let other players rent and give you a cut of their actions okay Okay, okay, uh, Brian. Uh, let's build the barracks. It's a good idea. It's a fine day, Eivor. Where is this? Oh, here. I hope we have enough materials. Is it barracks? Yeah. Okay. Let's see. Building cost four. Oh, we have uh, just enough of raw materials to build our billets, barracks. Let's build it. Ah, with this we can recruit more warriors. Now I can build the most vicious crew ever to sail the rivers of England. Okay. Our warriors now have a place to rest and train. A fine shelter it is. When word gets out, it should attract many Jomsvikingar to fight with us. Which reminds me, a few of your raiders are chomping at the bit in hope of becoming your second. You ought to pick one. Okay. So this is a new Viking, so a new crew member. Um, I can even change his. <laughs> I can change his appearance and change his gender. That's a woman. <laughs> like randomized. I want a big guy. That's a big guy. Okay, let's go with Skjolder carved fangs. Skjolder. It's a nice armor. I can even change that too. Cool. So, I guess that's the default outfit that all my Vikings wear, I guess. Perhaps we can, like, all give them a Berserker outfit, like me. And I guess we can also like upgrade them with better gear, which also mm. makes them stronger, I guess. Yeah, 
let's all put let's put them all a helmet. So they're all working berserker outfit. They're all heavy. They have the same exit that I have. Okay, let's assign. Are you sure I want to leave this menu? Once selected, you may not change your Yom's Viking gender or appearance. Okay. Skjölder Karft Fangs. Okay, that's my bear hat. So I'm out of building materials. What's this? Decorative element. What do, are we going to set here? Mm. An Odin wooden statue. Ooh, nice. Oh, and of course, yeah, let's put the another one on the other side. So that's the entrance to our docks. People see that we are protected by Odin. It's nice. So we can even get some decorations go going in our settlement. Let's talk to Sigurd. Oh yeah, he used the, the Assassin's Order building. I'll get to you guys later. When I get more materials and building stuff. Saxons break their kingdoms into smaller territories called shires. This one is called Leicestershire. It isn't spelled how you think. And as you suspected, the sons of Ragnar moved there some months ago. We know for sure that Ivar and Ufa are alive and... Hey, boys. In here! You can always hear some guys talking... And a horn of ale. What will you keep in and this room? And this always gives you more information. My finest weapon. For this room is yours. Here you may lay your head, hang your axe, or be alone with your thoughts. Do you like it? It suits me well. But I would be just as happy lodging with the raiders on that wharf. I need no special treatment. This is not special treatment. I want you here in the longhouse, close at hand. I may be the Jarl of this clan, but you and I lead together, as ever. So get acquainted with your room, and when you're ready, meet me at the stables. Okay. I got a new room. Nice. What's this? So Ravensthorpe, uh, our village, our settlement status, encampment. We're still in an, an encampment. We haven't really got a lot of stuff right now. We currently have the capacity for the following services. Blacksmith, Hidden Ones Bureau, Stable and Aviary, Trading Post and Barracks. And we already got the Barracks and the uh, uh, Blacksmith. <sighs> I think when we get some other buildings we can get access to more buildings a letterbox for messages and requests mm, it's like an ancient laptop for email was this my bed i'm still alone in the bed a bed better than many i've slept in and a good place to recover where are those mm, fighting women but it is mine i'm still sleeping alone ah well Something to eat. Okay, so we're just sitting at the table. Eating. <laughs> but look at the nice hall. The carvings. The fire. Beautiful. But again, that's not what you guys want to see. You want to see gameplay. Let's see what we can 
I'll show you guys. What do you do here? Can you remind me what you do here? Whatever you need for your longship, my husband and I are happy to help. We have quite an eye for these things. But right now, we're more concerned with you building us a place to do our work. Get on that soon, won't you? Okay. I must take my leave. So long. Goodbye, Eivor. Yeah, so everybody wants a house and a workshop. I get it, I get it. I guess we took some building materials with us from Norway. That was a uh, an option that you could you could leave them and don't upset the king. Or you could take them. Or we I took them. I guess we only could have built one, like the barracks or the blacksmith. Farewell, Eivor. If we decided not to take those building materials with us. Look at me! Look at these arms! I am a beast! <laughs> what was that about? Is Basim leaving us already? Sigurd means to leave as well. Is that true? We know the sons of Ragnar have camped in the north. It would do us well to pay them a visit, to strengthen our ties to this land. Is that where Basim has gone? Basim's motives are his own. Leave it at that. We have more pressing plans. I am riding to Lerichestershire, to a town called Repton. Eivor, I expect you to join me when you have finished here. I can come now. I only need a horse. Not yet. First speak with Randvi. She has more than one task for you here. Apart from growing this settlement, you must seek out alliances as well. We cannot pacify England with so few friends. Then I must join you, Sigurd, for I am a fitter companion on long roads. No, Dag. You belong here with the raiders, and you will act as Eivor commands. Ride in safety, brother. I will follow as soon as I can. Yes, and I will keep our raiders sharp. Do as Eivor commands. Is he testing me? He may be. Sigurd is a wise man. I would sooner take orders from a louse. Ooh. <laughs> I guess he's not happy that I'm in charge. First I'm gonna like track the quest, yep. The Alliance map. Sigurd has gone north, choosing Ivor as his replacement. It is now on Ivor to expand the settlement and make alliances with its surrounding territories. And a new home. The settlement is your home. Build it, grow it, and reap the rewards. So, that's an easy one. Reach settlement level 2. But again, this one is a bit more difficult as to make alliances. Vikings. Hmm. Okay. But again, let's look at the map again. But to give you guys an idea how big this map is. We are here and we went here raiding. But again, there's still a lot of things to do here. And I even think this is not even the last map that we will see in this game. But as we saw in uh, my previous video, uh, the corpse, the grave of um, our main character I keep forgetting his name uh, and again it <laughs> is found in North America so that is where probably the story will end I guess but again who knows um, it's a bit spared just now but if you can build me something better I promise yes. you the finest of beasts a bustling stable would be a great boon here I will see what I can do of course everybody needs a house a stable a settlement. Where can I go? Let's see. Take a look at the map again. Um, what's that? That is a message. Some people to talk to. Okay. Let's l take a look at the alliance map. I guess that's the the world map that was in the, on the table there. <coughs> yeah. So we have to go around again. If you 
why do you build just one door in this place? And everybody can see me sleep when they come in. So that's my room with no door. So when there's a party going on, it's gonna be hard to sleep. <laughs> There you are. Okay, let's go. You wanted to see me. As Sigurd has so ordered, it falls to us to Hi, expand our presence in England. Glad you're back. He wants to forge alliances. I am clad with every Norse, Dane, and Saxon here. Right. We are the outsiders here. Making friends will help. Where do we start? My scouts come and go daily with interesting news and tidings, and I'm beginning to get my bearings in this fractured land. As I learn more, I can give you insight into each territory before you commit to a journey there. Of course. Once you have gained an ally in a territory, return home and speak to me. We'll decide your next move then. I understand. So, where do we start? You have two options just now. Join Sigurd in Leatherchestershire to the north and meet with the sons of Ragnar Lothbrok, or head south to Grantebridgeshire to meet an army of Danes led by one Guthrum Jarl and his second, Soma. I should add, our young friend Hytham has been conferring with his own contacts in the cities. His research could be useful in winning us alliances throughout the cities of England. Speak with him and see what he needs. Show me the alliance I want to see map. The alliance map. The Leicestershire. Shire. The alliance map. If you want your settlement to thrive in England, your clan must forge alliances. Pledge a to a territory to confirm your interest in an alliance and as pledges are completed and allies are made other territories will be made available okay so there's like some uh, diplomacy in this game too so I guess we're we are here now or here, well yeah and let the sh Shire suggested power 20 and rewards we get an upgrade of our settlement and this one a reward of some building materials hmm where shall we go where shall we go where you guys want to go Brian Tor you're still in the chat let me know I'll let you guys decide shall we go north or shall we go south So, shall we get the rewards of the building materials? Brian says south. And Entor doesn't know. So, let's go south. Tell me about Grandebritshire. Thanks, guys. The force of Danes, called a summer army by the Saxons, is camped north of Grandebridge at some ruins across the river. We should curry favor with their leaders, Guthrum and Soma. Yeah, we need building if materials. We hope to win their trust and allegiance. My scouts did not meet them in person, so I can say little for the state of their army. Consider this a starting point. All right. There's a big army of Danes there. I will leave right away. Good. And may the blessings of Freya follow. Okay. Animus Tor. I received 300 helix credits. And find and speak to the summer army's leaders. They are camped north of Grand Bridge and some ruins across the river. Let's see our world map now. Okay, so we have to go this way. And that is the place we have to go to. To find the leader of the summer army. Okay. So there's also some stuff to do, of course, here or around my camp but again let's continue following the story we'll probably get around to these things later on cool find some concept art so I guess we have to go to our boat and find that place take our raiders with us oh, wait, this way okay it's a mission with some detective work says Ryan Brian what I think I saw something there oh yeah they just again <laughs> to sit bum, 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 bum. what's 
There's also a mission. I guess I can't get a new mission here. Hi, them. Randwi asked me to see you about finding friends in the cities of England. That's right. London, Jorvik, Winchester. All three are infested by members of the same order to which Kyotve belonged. But their reach extends much further than this. Of all the lands on Earth, I believe England is the most overrun. Do they cause here the same turmoil Kyotve caused in Norway? Not just turmoil. They spread a plague of delusion, teaching men and women to abase and abuse themselves in exchange for power. You have strong feelings about this. Of course. This is the sole purpose of the Hidden Ones. To liberate the body and spirit of man from any unnatural shackles. But we have not operated in England for over four centuries. Since the fall of the Roman Empire, the Hidden Ones have not had a presence here. This absence has given the Order of the Ancients ample room to grow and thrive. Our task will not be an easy one. But with a bureau, Basim and I could begin our work. If you have the time and spare resources to build one, we would be most grateful. Yes, I will see yes, what yes, I can yes, do. Yes. I'll find you your resources, don't worry, it will just take some time. Ah, okay, some new skill points first. Let's quickly... Mm, evasion, yep. Landing a blow. Okay, that's also a nice skill when you hit someone in the back. I like to do that when they're not expecting it. Show nearby quest. We're not gonna track that quest yet. Let's first go to the Great Scattered Army. <laughs> Take a man. Let's go. Your Yom's Viking has been recruited by other players. Okay, I can collect it. Um, I think we have to go the other way. Let's take a look at the map. Yeah, we have to turn the boat. You see my Yams Viking there with his helmet. He got the same coat as me. Sail is ready when needed. Sail out! Sail out. Let's have a song. Eight hundred meters. Go those boats go fast like speedboat. There were the speed boats of their time, those Viking long boats, long ships. I think we have to go right. Yep. And I guess we're almost here. It's an old castle. Drop the sail. Use your raven to locate quests. Aid me. Be my eyes. I guess there's something big in the castle like for a quest yep so we have to go to the castle and that's another castle over there what's there's, there's, there's treasure in the water i guess we can also swim some sunken boats i guess yep some treasure in the river ah an old roman aqueduct that led to this castle. Nice. Okay. Let's, I guess we're gonna have to put our boat here. Let's dock the boat. Can we dock the boat? What are you doing? 
doing? I have no idea. I just parked my boat. So in this castle there is something that I have to find. But guys, I'm sorry. I'm just gonna stop the stream here and I'm gonna do this mission this evening because in 10 minutes I have to be somewhere else. And uh, so thanks again for watching. So uh, thanks again for this fifth episode for following me and uh, talking in the chat. It's always nice that you guys play this game with me. I always let you guys decide some, st some stuff. So again, thank you for following and don't forget to like the video if you haven't done already and subscribe to my channel and click that bell because you get a notification when I can continue with a new stream. I'm gonna stream again this evening so if you want to see how this story unfolds come again later this evening for an update of the story in England from Assassin's Creed Valhalla. Thanks again for watching. See you guys. Bye.